Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, someone. How are you today? Fine. <laughs> Fine. So, so. <laughs> because of yeah. the rain? Excuse me? It's because of the rain? It's for the no, 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 no. Because the work. Today, uh, I, I have the first of my two events on this week and done. But I have another one from the, the Saturday. Oh, okay. So you've been very busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm tired. So you're busy and tired. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being here. <laughs> uh, even though you're tired and been working a lot, but thank you so much for your effort. Hello, good evening, teacher. Hello, my dear. How are you doing today? I'm great but it's raining yet. Yes, and how was the traffic? Are you already at home? Yes, yes, uh, but I, I was terrible. Yes. Those chorros. Uh, it's a mess. Um, what about you, teacher? Hmm? What about you with the traffic? Oh yeah, um, yeah. I I I I came to the academy and uh, early because of the traffic. It was raining, but um, students were not able to come because of the rain. So I've been waiting here for you <laughs> because um, uh, it's not worthy for me to to leave the academy and go to the house. I wouldn't make it, so I'm going to wait to finish this class. <laughs> Is it raining in the woods? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's. Okay. I think it started to rain yeah, around. Have a good day, teacher. Hmm? And um, uh, today is a, a teacher day. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for your messages. I've read all your messages. Thank you so okay. much for your words. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, so um I I gave myself a, a good coffee today before the class. <laughs> yeah, that was my, really? my gift for myself. Yes. So I have been reading all your messages and many people is going to be just as listener. Um, let us know when you are able to participate. Uh, many of you, I think around, I don't know, maybe 12 messages of people who's going to be just listening because we are driving on, on traffic and yes, the situation has become like really, really complicated due to the weather conditions. And um, I've been reading and listening to the news and they said that this is going to be like that until Saturday, I guess. So be careful uh, for the ones who are driving and if you're at home, you take all the necessary um, precautions as well. So we are going to do our best as always to teach you and help you with topics. Uh, for the people who is listening, thank you so much for your effort and remember that you will be able to watch the video for the class. Um, tomorrow morning, if God willing. So uh, we're going to begin. We have a very, very easy exercise. We are about to finish with the topic of the present perfect. So let me share screens. Mm. Wow, it's quite low. Ah. Hello, good evening. Hello? Hello, I can hear you. 
Nein. Okay. Internet is going to be like um, complicated as well. But anyway, so let's begin with this exercise. This is where we stopped yesterday. Mm. So this is uh, to, we need to write the questions. We have the answers there in part B. You see the answers. What you have to do is to write the questions using have you ever plus a verb in the past participle. We have the first one already done. You see the answer is yes, I have. I watched flamenco dancing last summer in Spain. So the question is, have you ever watched flamenco dancing? Now for number two, the, the information that we have is actually, I saw a sumo wrestling match last month on TV. It was terrific. Now we need to write the questions using have you ever. I'll give you time if you want to write the question or if not, you can write it in the chat or say it. If you know what the question will be, you can say it. We are going to answer each other every, every sentence. Uh, you need to write the questions. The answers are already there. Okay. And let me see someone wrote in the chat. Okay, and Marilyn is like, yes. Thank you so much for letting us know, Marilyn. Uh, I know it's raining in many places and it's difficult to to participate or to listen to the class, but thank you so much for making the effort. Okay, uh, Martial, the exercise is to write the questions. For example, in number two, the answer is actually I saw a sumo wrestling match last month on TV. It was terrific. Now we need to write the question. The question for that answer, have you ever, have you ever, and I need the verb in the past participle. Uh, uh, had you ever saw a sumo last month on TV? It's no. in past. What is the past participle of C? So is the past. See. What is the seen? Uh -huh. So the question would be, have you ever seen a sumo wrestling match? Have you ever seen a sumo wrestling match? Actually, I saw a sumo wrestling match last month on TV. It was terrific. Now, is it clear the exercise? Is the exercise clear? Kind of. Yes. Yes. Okay. Number three. The response is no, I haven't. I have never eaten oysters. So the question is. Have you ever? Have you ever? Have you ever eaten oyster? Alexis, have you ever eaten oysters? No, I haven't. I have never eaten oysters. OK, 
Okay, so we have finished number one, two, and three. Have you ever? Have you ever eaten oyster? Number four is Yes, do you have the number four? Have you ever been world climbing? Excellent. That is correct, Alexis. Have you ever been wall climbing? No, I've never been wall climbing. Now let's go with number five. Yes, I rode in a sport car last month. Uh, I can so uh, five. Have you, you ever written? Yes, have you ever written? In a sport car. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Aymara and Magdiel. Have you ever written in a sport car? Mm -hmm. say it, I, now it, let's see number six. No, I haven't. I've never been camping. Have you ever been camping? That's please <laughs> excellent. Have you ever been camping? And finally, number seven. Yes, I have. I once rode my brother's motorcycle. Are you ever writing? Read them. Have you ever written? Uh -huh. Have you ever written a motorcycle? Motorcycle. Yes, I have. I once rode my brother's motorcycle. Okay. So that's it with this one. Now to review, we have um a dynamic here, just, um, okay, so I'm going to ask you to participate, just let me get right into this.
Okay, to review, we are going to be um, completing these exercises. They are related to the present perfect. And this is the, the last practice of a present perfect. Everything that we have been studying about this topic, um, we're going to wrap it up with this activity. We're going to be completing these exercises. Um, and then we are going to move to a different topic, to the three word verbs. So for this, I need um, volunteers to get the control of the meeting. That in this exercise, we need to drag and drop the present perfect with already and yet. Choose the correct word to complete the conversation. There is one extra word meaning that um, we're going to use only four. That is one extra. A volunteer? Miguel, thank you so much. Now you have the control. You have to keep it pressed and and grab. I have to select. I yes, have to you select have to click, work. select, uh, grab, and drop. Mm -hmm. Tiene que clickear y tiene que mantener, sostener el click para poder arrastrarla. Okay. Have they cleaned the house yet? No, they haven't. Now you okay. can check your answers, Matthew. Excellent. It's correct. And this is a conversation. Let's see. Samuel okay. and Alexis, can you role play the conversation? Samuel, you can start. Okay. Uh, have they cleaned the house yet? With me, teacher. Ale, yes, you can you can answer. Okay. No, they haven't. Have they washed the dishes? Yes, they washed the dishes already. Excellent. Now let's click next exercise. Volunteer. Samuel. Okay. Okay, you can control the screen now. Okay. Have you eaten those yet? No, I. Sure. 
Sure, that sounds great. I'll send never begin with the Bye. Sure, that sounds great. I've never been there before. Okay, <laughs> that is. Now, a volunteer to role play with someone? I want, but I don't, uh, can't move the ones, the, the words, I don't know. Someone, you are A and Armara, you are B. Okay. Okay. Have you ate in lunch yet? No, I haven't. Do you want to go to the dinner? Sure, that sounds great. I've been, never been there before. Okay, good. Now, Aymara, I will give you the remote control. Okay, now you can move, yes. You're controlling the screen now. Pero es que, es que yo no puedo, ¿con dónde me tengo que dar? Pero yo la veo moviendo el mouse. ¿Cuál es la que va a hacer el final? Mucha. ¿Sí? Vaya. Ajá. Ahí voy, espérate. Has Luke ever been... Tiene que hacer clic sobre la palabra y sostener el clic y arrastrar. Ahí va. Ahí va. <risa> Y ahí lo suelta donde ya vive. Has Luke ever been to Germany? No. He. He haven't. No, he hasn't. He hasn't, no, he hasn't yet. Mm -hmm. I haven't been there. I know, I keep like, come on, la cosa. I haven't been there. I haven't. No. Uh, no, he hasn't. He's never been. Okay. <laughs> Hasta que un confetti le salió. <laughs> I can okay. do it. <laughs> you can do it. Excellent. Now you can be A and uh, let's see. Um, let me see anybody here. Um, Madiel, can you be? Can you uh, help us with B? It's not there. Okay, start. Mm -hmm. Has has Luke ever been to Germany? No, he hasn't. He's been never been to Europe. I haven't been there yet either. Either. Uh huh. Excellent. Okay, now let me change this. Nice. Okay, let's see. I volunteer to unscramble this question or sentences.
Mario, okay, Mario, I'll give you the remote control. Okay, Mario. It is a question. Excellent. Have you written in the street card yet? Very good. Can you help us with the next one, Mario? Excellent. Next. That is a sentence. Sigo. Yes. Excellent, Tim has already washed the dishes. Good, Mario, thank you so much. Okay, Mario, See you. that is a question, uh-huh. Excellent. Has he been to the gym this month? Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. You're doing it excellent. Let's see. Give the control to. I see that. Creo que vi una manita por ahí de Alexis. Okay, Alexis, I'll give you the control so you can do the next three. Okay, it says Kerry hasn't called yet. Excellent, Alexis. You can continue with the next two more. Perfect. Have you been late for class this week? Okay, one more, Alexis. One more. And then we go with Abigail. One more, Alexis. Uh 
Awesome, perfect. Alice has already eaten dinner. Good, Alexis. So let's continue with Abigail, I guess. Let's see. Okay, teacher. Okay, you have the control. Okay, you can click next. That's a question. I see it is a question. <clears throat> Sorry, teacher, no logro agarrarlo mi teléfono. Ah, okay. Any water volunteer? Any other volunteer? Aymara, thank you. I'll give you the remote control. Okay, Aymara. Excellent, Aymara. Have you cleaned your room yet? Yeah. Click next to finish the exercise, please. Excellent, Aymara. Very good. Anne and Mike haven't seen the movie yet. So let's continue with another exercise. Okay, um, this is a paragraph. What we need to do here is to put the sentences in order so that they can make sense. Abigail, do you want to try this one? In the next picture, <laughs> please. <laughs>
a volunteer for this one is to put the uh, paragraph in order, in the correct order. No one in here? Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Hay que poner en orden eh, las oraciones, ¿verdad? Yes. Primero presente simple y luego el past, ¿ya? Yeah? Yes, so you have to make the to make sense. Tienen que organizarlo de manera que haga sentido el párrafo. Okay. Mi coach, uh, I will try. Teacher, podría dictar yo y alguien mover, moverlo. Es que mi teléfono no lo puedo mover. <coughs> okay, so okay. what do you think is the first one? Yes, for example, uh, um, let's let's summer I went to Italy. Thank you. I visited many interest countries in Europe. I haven't to France yet. No, um, first I love his food in my friendly people. First here? No, no. Um, yes. Mama. Before, okay, yes. And I want to travel there next year. Oh, uh -huh, yes. Mm. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, but I think we should move one of them. I think I visited many interesting countries in Europe first. I think, I don't know. Okay, I have visited many interesting countries in Europe. Last summer, I went to Italy. I love the food and the friendly people. I haven't been to France yet. I want to travel there next year. Okay, let's check your answers. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much, Aymara and Abigail. You're welcome, teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we have more. Okay, this is a listening exercise. Let me see if I'm sharing. Okay, share sound with you so that you can listen. Okay, so what do you hear? Present perfect versus simple past. Mm, click on the audio icon, listen to the question, and then click the correct answer. 
Okay, let's do the first one here. Listen. Did you go shopping yesterday? One more time. Did you go shopping yesterday? What is the answer? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. yes. Correct. A volunteer to continue with the next? Me too. Okay, Abigail. You're going to do two. Vamos a hacer dos, Abigail. And then we can. Uh, where are you going? Okay. Do you need me to, uh, okay, click next. Yes. Oh, now you. click the icon so you can listen. El icono aquí. Sorry, Has he ever been to Hawaii? Has, has he ever been to Hawaii? <laughs> no. Click on. Now he hasn't. Very good. Next, Abigail. Have you washed the dishes yet? Oh. Have you washed the dishes yet? The dishes yet? Yes, Have you washed the dishes yet? Okay, well, you did it good. That yeah, it, 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 the first one it was correct. The second one was kind of a little bit more difficult, but you did it good. Thank you so much, Abigail. Anybody else would like to continue? Mario, thank you so much, Mario. Mario, okay, Mario, you have the control now. Did they go to the food festival? Have you spent time with your family lately? Cool. Okay, you're doing it good. Excellent. So, um, let's see next. Has Dan gone to the gym recently? Okay, very good, Maria. Thank you so much. Um, does anybody else would like to have the control? Alexis. Okay, Alexis. There you go. Did you and your friends go to the party last night? Did you and your friends go to the party last night?
click next. Did they try the curry? Did they try the curry? Excellent. Did they try the curry? Excellent. Very well done. So I think that this is the last exercise that we have um, in here for the listening in the present perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing here so we can move to the next part. And I see this time for checking attendance. So please uh, say present as soon as you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. It's not here. Abigail Mejia. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alvestro Casa. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Carlos Emilio Cotto. No se ha conectado ahora, ¿no? Um. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Okay, Carlos, thank you so much for writing in the chat. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Cecilia Noemi Ramos. Parece que no está Cecilia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Francisco Ernesto, parece que iba a estar solo como oyente. Ahí lo veo conectado. Let's continue. Gerson Alexis Cunes. Present. Thank you. Gertrudis no, Aymara Vaquerano. Hazel Vanessa Mengiva. Yo no tengo nombre. Julissa Yamileti Alta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Luis Javier Castillo. Gracias. Thank you, Luis. Matiel Esaú. Present teacher. Matiel. Marilyn. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you, Marilyn, and thank you, Carla. Okay, in the chat. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. Sí, yo vi más fuerte ayer. Okay, Cecia acaba de conectarse. Gracias por confirmar, Cecia. Eh, Mario estaba conectado. Creo que se le cayó el internet. Entonces ya no está. Ella me voy yo. Ya pongo aquí, Cecilia. Gracias por avisarnos que ya está. Eh, okay. Vamos a seguir, Chivo, entonces. Saludos, mamá. Saludos, mamá. Apoyo, Cecilia.
Bien, Samuel Antonio. En la terminal de Occidente. Está también en Santos Cristina. En este es mayo. Sí. Ah, no puedo. Creo, no sé. Me acabo. Y no me gusta. Hola, teacher, no sé si me oyó por la huella que había ahí. Sí, sí, la escuché, Cristina. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, now after we finish the review with the, so we are going with, to go with this exercise. This is um, the phrasal verbs. Uh, these are three word phrasal verbs. Se componen de eh, tres palabras, como ven. Y acá tienen en las oraciones, utilizando cada uno de los three phrasal verbs que vamos a ver. So we have the phrasal verbs here in, in sentences, and we need to match them with the meaning of the verb. For example, in number one, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. So broken up would be be excited for and a romantic relationship with, staying in space with, in peace with, tolerate. Reduce the quantity of, have a good relationship with, be responsible for, or think of, or develop. So what is going to match the number one? A, B, Letter C, B. D. Letter B. Yes, that is correct. Broke up with, match letter B. So I'm going to stop sharing for you to discuss in groups the meaning of the verb, and you can complete the matching exercise. Ponga ahí, presente. Ponga ahí que está presente porque la ficha se dio cuenta que quizás se había desconectado usted. Que quizás se le había ido el internet. Eh, sí, Mario, lo puse ahí como presente porque había estado conectado y vi que escribió en el chat de WhatsApp. Sí, se fue. Bien. Yeah, so, sí, yes, no worries. ¿Y qué vamos a hacer? Porque no hay nada de eso. ¿Can you see? Yes. Yes. Ok. Number one is. is... It's ready. But number two, Kevin come up come up with a great idea for our class reunion. Hay que hacer match entre los, 
like number and the letter. Yeah. Maybe letter A. A. Be excited, Be excited for. for. Uh, I don't know, maybe you, you tell me. Yeah, that's could be. What do you think is the answer for number two? Letter A, be excited for. Uh, you can also click on the text. Pueden agarrar donde dice annotate y donde está el text para poner. Porque a veces con el lapicito es un poquito más difícil. Uh -huh. Solo que tiene que ponerlo allá donde lo va a ocupar. So, in the number one, for example, ya hicimos la uno, puede poner el cuadrito del texto donde dice again. Y habíamos dicho que era letter B. Entonces, escribí ahí B. Uh -huh. B. Ok. Kevin came up. Mm. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Ese exactamente es el que estaba en la conversación cuando usted preguntó, Magdiel, que qué significaba came up with. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Yes. And came up with, um, came up with is to think of or develop. Letter H, think of or develop. Entonces la oración ahí sería como que decir que Kevin pensó en una gran idea o desarrolló una gran idea. Eso quiere decir came up with. Uh, okay. Think of the below. Think of the follow. Think of develop. Uh huh. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to watching my neighbor neighbor's dog. They are not very friendly. Stay, stay in peace with? LD maybe. Tolerant, tolerate. Tolerate. Well, there are B. Yes. Tolerate. Number four, letter E. Uh, 
my doctor says I am overweight. I should cut down of fatty food. My doctor says I'm I'm overweight. I should cut down cut down cut down but it but it hurts. No, no, no. Yes, no. Yo digo que reducir la cantidad, ¿eh? Ya, yeah, pero ¿y? Uh -huh. Number number five. I think that little F have a good relationship with with your students. You say the. No puede mantenerse. No les puede seguir paso a los estudios a los estudiantes en, en la clase de mandarín. Este, ¿Qué puede ser esa de Little y e, reduce quality of? Little E. Reduce the quality, quantity. Number five, uh -huh. Por qué crees que sea esto? Porque dice que Robe va, no, no, no puede mantener como su, la relación con los estudiantes de, de mandarín y que él debe como conseguir un, un, un tutor, va. Porque wow. quizás son, son muchos estudiantes los que él tiene en, en esa clase. Entonces. Yo pienso que ya este, sería. Este. O be responsible. Mantenerse al día. De sí, está bien. ¿Cuál es mantener el día? La letra C. Stay in peace with. Estar en paz con. No, 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 no. Yes, the answer for that one is letter C. Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class if you get a tutor. Los tutors and 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 este. 
Los tutors para los americanos no solo es alguien como un tutor que le va a dar clases o un tutor, es alguien que está pendiente de su conducta, de corregirlo. Entonces, sí, ahí tiene razón Mario, es la C. Bye, sí. Um, keep up with, what does it mean, teacher? Keep up with es llevarse bien con alguien o estar en paz con alguien. Estar en paz o llevarse bien, keep up with. Ok. Uh -huh. Y hay que um, la tres no es de. Todas están bien excepto la tres. Sí, porque la tre en la debería ser en la siete, la de tolerar. No. Eh, me dice ahí que pasan peleando con su compañera de cuarto. Oh, sí. en, en el número tres. So, and then number three, little e, little f, have a good relationship with. With your neighbor. Maybe they the ever No, it's not letter F. Eh? No. No, teacher. Uh-uh. Let it be. Letter G. Letter G. Be responsible for no. what you do. Be excited, be excited for. Be excited for. Yes. Be excited for. A looking forward to is a be excited for. Es estar emocionado o por algo. Estar emocionado, estar emocionada, ansioso. Eh, En este caso, él no está emocionado eh, de ver a los eh, perros de los vecinos porque no son amigables. So it says, I'm not looking forward to watching my neighbor's dog. They are not very friendly. So, eh, look forward to is be excited for. Se ve muy comúnmente en los eh, correos. Como cuando uno decía, estaré atento o estaré esperando su respuesta. Uh, so, o estaré esperando su respuesta, lo, se lo ponen así como un I'm looking forward to hear from you. Es como decir, estaré emocionado, estaré pendiente, emocionado de, de escuchar de ti. Eso lo van a ver muy seguido en los correos, ya cuando... Eh, vean correos en inglés y se, y se despiden así como cuando usted va a esperar una respuesta. I'm looking forward to hear from you. Ok, teacher, thank you so much.
number six, maybe Lady D, Tony D. Hi, right, teacher. We finish. Are you finished? Teacher, finish. Can we check? Yeah. Let me a uh, few seconds. Two. We have a, a, a doubt about little C and little A. Mm -hmm. Letter A is the number three. Number three is letter A. Okay, I'm not looking forward uh -huh. to watching my neighborhood dogs. They are not very friendly. Be excited for? Yes, be excited for. Es como no me emociona ver a los perros de los vecinos. No me emociona. Uh -huh. El look forward to también lo van a ver. Eh, se ve muy común en los correos electrónicos. Cuando usted espera una respuesta o para decirle es, estaré um, I'm looking forward to hear from you. I'm looking forward to hear from you. It's like I'm going to be excited to hear from you. Okay? Esperando que me responda, ¿verdad? Estaré emocionada esperando tu respuesta. Eh, or you can say I'm looking forward to the uh, Scorpions concert, for example. I'm looking forward to going to a concert, for example. I'm looking forward to. Another example with looking forward to, what do you think? I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to having dinner with my husband. I'm not looking forward to watching my my boss when <laughs> I play my work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh huh. So yes, you can say um. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to another example. I'm looking forward to travel to um, finish this weekend. Uh huh. I'm looking forward to finishing the weekend because it's very heavy, because I have a lot of things to do. Y estoy emocionada de terminarlo todo, ¿verdad? Eso es, o estoy, um, ajá, es como decir, y igual se puede hacer en negativo, como ahí, I am not looking forward to, I am not looking forward to visiting my mother-in-law. No, me too. <laughs> That's the best example I can give you. And, um, So yes, that, that would be for number three. Uh -huh. Es como decir, estoy emocionada porque se acabe algo que no quiero, ¿verdad? Así es. Uh -huh. O no estoy emocionada de, o no estoy ansiosa por, eh, como decir, I'm not looking forward to, I'm not looking forward to uh, visiting my mother-in-law. Entonces la tres. Uh, do, you, do, you, do you love her? Ah. Do you love her, teacher? 
No. <laughs> yeah. I don't get along with her. Okay. I think it's normal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very, 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 very normal. My, I say, I say to my wife, she is a, a, a blessed woman because she don't, she don't have a, a mother-in-law. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> have a mother-in-law. No. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. and there are some exceptions. There are some exceptions yeah. in which uh, people, or men or women, have a, a good mother-in-law. But in very, very exceptional cases. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yes, number three, letter A. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, you creo que está con el screenshot. Sí, sí. Entonces el screenshot no creo que lo pueda corregir. Gaming came up. Letter A. Yes, letter A. And number four, you have E. That's correct. Five, C. I am going to put a C or A, but uh, it's yeah. C. Five yeah. is letter C. And Six. four is cut down as a reduce a quantity letter of A. letter E. A letter C. G. Uh -huh. A should be letter G. Get along is a good relationship, letter F. And the last one is letter C. Uh, no, 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 no. G. Mm -hmm. Be responsible for it. No, again, number six, put up D. Uh -huh. Let's review. Le number one, B. Oh, you can, uh, you can redo, you can redo it in the presentation. So you can um, delete that screenshot or send it to the trash bin and redo it in the presentation again. So you don't get confused. This is um, D. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Please, podemos repetir. Um, number one is letter B. Yeah. L yes. Number two is H. Number two, H. Uh -huh. Number three is G. Number three, A. Uh, A. I'm sorry. Number four is E. Yes. Number five is C. C. Number six is D. D as in that. Uh -huh. And number seven is F. And number eight is G. That's correct. Thank you.
Okay, I think I'm just missing two. Marilyn and Samuel, they are going to be back with us in a few minutes. So okay, let me um, share my screen so that we can share. Okay, I think that everybody's back again. So yeah, let me check. All right, so um, let's check here. We can see the answers here. Can you see this little white square? Okay, we're going to check your answer. So in number one, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again, meaning broken up, broken up, letter B, and a romantic relationship with. Number two. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Later, H teacher, thing of the follow. Yes, letter H. Think of or develop. Number three, I'm not looking forward to watching my neighbor's dog. They are not very friendly. Be excited for. Yes, letter A, be excited for. Be excited for, okay. Uh -huh. Number four, my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty food. Get it A, reduce the quantity of. That is correct. Letter E, reduce the quantity of something. Um, number five, Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. Stay in page with. Letter C, stay in peace with. Okay, stay in peace with. Thank you so much. Number six, I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. I can't put up with the noise in my street. I'll have to move. Letter D, tolerate. That's correct. Letter D, tolerate. Number seven. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Have a good relationship with. Mm -hmm. yes. have, have a good relationship with. Okay. Have a good relation with. Yes, and finally, number A, Bill can't take care of his own finances. He has an account and manage his money. So take care of is G, be responsible for.
Okay, so now that you have the answers here, let's see. Is there any doubt with these three word phrasal verbs? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con esto? No questions? Or... Coach? Yes? Is there uh, any rules? Uh, rule? Use the price of rule? I'm sorry? Is there any rules uh, when you use the price of work? Any rule? Mm -hmm. No. Like. Well, if um, I don't know if I'm getting it, yeah, but in this case with the three words phrase of her, um, you have to use them like they are. Okay, um, and then if they are two word, two part verb or two word verb, yes, there is maybe a, I wouldn't say a rule, but um, you can, you can separate them. You can just sit in two different ways. Let me show you how. Where are you? So you know that there are some, they are like um, two words. Take off, for example. Okay. Yes. Have you seen this one before? Take off. What does it mean? Take off. Como fuera de aquí. Take off. Mm, no. Not exactly. So I can say I have to take off my no. ring. Before I wash my hands, uh huh. I need to take off my ring before I need I, I wash my hands. So yes, take off is is to um to get rid of something like in this. So I can say I I have to, or you can say um please another example. Please uh, take off your shoes before you enter to the house. Please take off your shoes before you enter to the house. I'm missing one. Okay, please take off your shoes before you enter to the house. And in this, if they are two, uh, two words, you can split them, okay? Like you can say. Please. Okay, so you say, take your shoes off. So I split it, okay? But this can be done only with the two words verb. But if they are three words, we cannot split them. Is that clear? 
como que una regla no hay en cuanto a los verbos de tres eh, palabras, como los que acabamos de ver, no hay reglas. Ahora, como decirle, cómo saber cómo armarlos, ellos ya están dados. Lo único que podemos hacer es memorizarlos, tratar de usarlos así como son. Ahora, si son verbos de dos palabras, lo mismo, pues no hay como, son solo colocaciones. Eh, como take off, eh, podemos decir, eh, hay otras colocaciones con take. Eh, vamos a, ahorita lo anoto para, para que veamos colocaciones. Por ejemplo, con get, hay varias colocaciones con el verbo get. Okay. Entonces vamos a ver las colocaciones, pero no hay una regla específica, solo ya están dados y saber qué significan, es lo único que sabemos, eh, saber qué significan y practicarlos. Ahora, si me decía alguna regla, lo único que le podría decir es que los de dos, eh, los de dos palabras sí los podemos separar o usar juntos, así como el ejemplo que le puse ahí. Y los de tres palabras, no, no los podemos separar. Are we clear? Are we okay with this, Alexis? Okay, thank you. Yes, let's go. Okay. Y antes de, de movernos a la sección 2, vamos a ver colocaciones. Porque son bien, eh, por ejemplo, verbos tan sencillos como este, take off, put away, put on, eh, son bien eh, comunes se usan bastante. Más que todo los de, los de dos, eh, los two words verb, los de tres eh, no son muy comunes, pero sin embargo, sí lo teníamos acá en esta conversación. So you see here, aquí está. But that, our clients love every single product we have come up with. Mm -hmm. Y se acuerdan que estábamos diciendo de las papas salas, papas chicken y todo eso. Ahí está este verbo de tres palabras. Come up with. Ok. Él le dice que sus clientes han amado todos los productos que ellos han desarrollado o se les han eh, ocurrido, ¿verdad? Que es lo mismo que estamos viendo aquí. En esto. Ay, qué tardado está. Ok, ahí está. Eh, came up with a great idea, que es pensar o desarrollar. Entonces, en la conversación que teníamos, eh, Kevin le estaba diciendo al papá que estaban como eh, todos los productos que ellos han desarrollado han funcionado. Entonces, ese es el, el significado de, de came up with. Y lo otro que les decía, que se puede hacer, lo único es practicarlos para poderlos memorizar, porque son un montón. Y si se fijan, estos que están aquí, por el significado que tienen, son bien útiles. Tanto como decir, este, um, tolerar, por ejemplo, eso es, es um, ser responsable de algo, de tener una buena relación o no tener una buena relación, reducir, o sea, son verbos que se pueden usar eh, mucho en el día a día. Lo único que podríamos hacer es como más ejemplos similares. El más fácil creo que el primero, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. So you can say, I have... A Well, or you can use another example. If it's not you, you can use your friend again and say, uh, my best friend is really sad. She's depressed because she has broken up with her husband or boyfriend or whatever. So yes, and you have another example. Ya tienen otro ejemplo usando broken up. My friend is into depression because she has broken up with her boyfriend. Or, I need to visit my friend because she is she has been crying since she broken up with her boyfriend. Okay? Y hacer más ejemplos con broken up with. Ahora, 
con came up with, que ese siempre, oh, si se fían también en la, en, la, en la conversación del material que tenemos, está relacionado con pensar o con desarrollar alguna idea, igual que aquí. Uh -huh. So you can say, I was getting frustrated because I didn't know how to make my class project until my son came up with a solution. Okay. Can you do, um, I think that we have time for you to write more examples. Y ahí les he dejado el cuadrito de la respuesta, lo ven, es este que estoy moviendo. Por si quieren, eh, para que estén eh, como viendo el significado de los verbos, ya como lo resolvimos, y hacer más eh, ejemplos. Pueden tomar como base el que tenemos aquí y pues hacer el suyo propio.
Have you finished? Would you like to share what you have? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and this bird could be another in simple present. Like broken is participle. Could be broke up. Mm. Yeah, like, um, yeah, remember that it's a broke, el break is an, um, el presente simple, yes, it can be for facts, yes, or for actions that are repetitive, part of your routine, so, um, in simple present, I think I, or broke up, um, break up with, um, I don't think it's a good option for the simple present tense. They can vary, yes, some of them, but for broke up with, break up with, um, in present is not a, an option. Maybe, uh, past participle or a simple past, yes, but for simple <laughs> present, no. Okay, so, so for, this, for the this... kind of verb, mm -hmm. for el tipo de verbo, porque el, el, el verbo eh, eh, es, no, no se presta para presente simple. En cambio, el dos, que es came up with a great idea, puede ser, ajá, en, en este caso pasado, ¿verdad? Se le ocurrió una buena idea o vino, a, nos resultó con una buena idea. Pero ese sí lo podríamos poner en presente por, uh, como decir, es que siempre que, siempre que yo estoy... Eh, frustrada o, o ya no sé qué hacer, no encuentro salida, eh, mi esposo viene con una buena idea o un consejo. So you, uh, you can say, um, every time I feel frustrated, my husband come up with a great advice or idea. Uh -huh. Ese sí. Se puede prestar okay. para present. Uh -huh. Any other question or? Pero no es, no es que ya estén hechos tal cual así. No. O sea, algunos sí se pueden conjugar. Algunos sí se pueden conjugar en ciertos tiempos, pero no en todos. So it is time to finish the section for today. I know it's been a very difficult night <laughs> because we've been having issues, but we're going to continue with this topic and more practice for tomorrow. I think I can add something extra for you to understand it better. I know it's, it's not um, 
like an easy topic, but yes, it is very useful. And we will practice until you feel that it is easy for you. So for, for now, that's gonna be all and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, sleep well. Thank you so much, have a good night. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Good night.